Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out some of your guys' solar systems. So today we have got some systems from Nick118 to check out. So yeah, he sent two systems for us to check out today. So without further ado, we're just going to hop straight into these guys. So the first system we have here is called the Kega system. So let's go ahead and uh, open up the menu and let's see what he has prepared for us. So here it is, so the Kega system here. So this one is apparently a 12 star system. So let's uh, see what he is... Uh, built for us here so he said um a realistic 12 star system so let's go ahead and uh, check out what we have got here so i'm guessing it's only stars so um where are we so i'm guessing we want to start at kega a yeah let's go over here so the main star itself right here so we can see yeah, pretty large in size eight astronomical units that's um that's pretty big i mean if we compare it to some of the titans of uh our galaxy i mean look beetlejuice there and where's good old um U.S. Goody, for instance, that's probably a good comparison. Stefferson, the biggest star. Yeah, so this is a very, very large star, this one here. Okay, so it's uh other star over here. We've got a blue star. That's a very, very close to the primary star there. Okay, so you've got both of those guys. If I put orbits on, okay, uh, trails maybe. Actually, we'll have to try and run the simulation and see how it works. So I'm guessing it's all split into different binaries. And maybe, yeah, so we can see we've got BA and BB over here. Okay, and then there we got uh, BC and BD, I'm guessing, yeah. So it looks like everything's set in uh, sets of two, which is pretty cool. Okay, so uh, over here we got DB. So how many are over here? Okay, so we've got one star. Oh, so these are pulsars or neutron stars or something. Yeah, look, you can see 16 kilometers. So yeah, these are, these are pretty much like neutron stars and stuff. So pretty crazy stuff. Its speed is pretty... 0 0.286 light speed? Ho, ho, ho. Or are we? Okay. So you've got both of those guys. So they're really, really small. And over here, we've got some other larger stars. So we've got uh, another two sets of two over here. Okay, right. Cool. Right, so that's the uh, that's the whole system. So if we just get the line up there, they all are there. So it's only stars. But what we need to do now, I think, is we need to press play and speed it up. And see how this functions. So let's go ahead and see how this works. So let's uh, speed it up. Looks like we need to speed up quite far. Looks like he uh, had the simulation quite low down actually here. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, really, really get this sped up actually. So here we go. I want to see the stars move. Oh, only travels at six hours. We can't run it any faster. Very, very laggy then for a simulation. There's not really too many stars in here. But I'm guessing it's just trying to simulate all of these. So if you look carefully, they are moving, which is quite so. You can see the orbits are changing. I think probably the best example would be one of the ones like this. You can see those stars are very close together, but you can see, yeah, they're, they're functioning pretty nicely. So here we are. We can see they're getting very, very close there. I mean, that is dangerously close for two stars to be getting there. So, yeah, Kega BC and Kega BD. So let's uh, watch that again, actually. So you see, and they get really, really close there. So come on, game. Can we go any faster? Oh, that's quite annoying. We're going so slow. Come on. So there you go. Another close flyby of the second star. There you go. Oh, that is close. We can see uh, over here as well, these two stars getting quite close in the action. Oh, whoa, what's going on over here? Ho, 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 wowie. Okay, so you can see, obviously with stars like this, there's going to be uh, some pretty crazy orbits going on. There's a lot of action going around. So how the two pulsars, oh my god, they are going very quickly. So these are probably the ones that are making the simulation slow down. It's because these guys are traveling really quickly. I mean, I think, he's, I think it said over here, what, 0 0.19? That's pretty fast. So yeah, those guys are orbiting perfectly fine. Pretty crazy stuff, but yeah, there we go. So that does it pretty much for the Kega systems. It's quite a short and sweet system, obviously with the 12 stars uh, showing off what's going on here. So you can see, yep, again. So yeah, they're mostly just split into two sets of binaries each. So there you go, there's another set there. Okay, cool. All right, so that's the first system from uh, Nick118 today. So moving on, we have got the next system called the Bastor system. So this system is similar to the Castor system, but with differences. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up this so here it is here so the Bastor system so let's see what he has got for us in his second simulation today right okie dokie right so here we are so first star let's see what we got so okay so is it all just stars again then okay let's see so Bastor A8 then we've got AB over here there's definitely no planets there then moving out we've got Bastet BA so there's always a lot of just a lot of stars wow we okay Loads of stars going on here. Right, so then we've got BC over here. Then we've got BD. Another star. So 
A lot of stars, we? Okay. So zooming out, let me have CA all the way over here. Okay, so lots and lots of stars. Okay, and is there any, any planets at all, or is it literally just stars? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's all just stars. Okay. Interesting. Right. Okay, so if we click play, I'm guessing we'll get quite similar results to the previous previous simulation. So we can see... Oh, but yeah, there's more There's more going on here, because you can see there's a lot of stars all orbiting the same star. So let's see how this all runs. Let's just sort of see how this system plays out. So we can see all the orbits are starting to... Ooh, is it stable? Is the question, I think. Is it stable? Because you can already see the orbits are getting a bit upset with each other. Oh, they're definitely getting upset. I don't think this is going to hold. Okay, oh, we can see this star is on a collision course if it's not careful. So can we, how fast can we go? So you can see the two stars at the centre, they're fairly alright, but it's these two red dwarf stars. Once they come in the mix, we could see some trouble. So let's see. Oh, my God, that is close. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's getting... Oh, my God. It was going to get shot out, but it's now getting even closer. So now this one's in the binary with the big star. I mean, look how close they are. You can see there's Roosh Limit going on. This star's getting bigger. It looks like it's tearing apart material from another star. What's all that fragments? Oh! What the heck? <laughs> yeah, I think there's a bit of bugs going on here, but this is insane. But you could see, even before all these weird glitches started happening, you could see it. this system was not going to hold. You could see it. Those stars were in very unstable orbits. But you can see there's definitely Roosh Limit going on, because you can see material is being lost in one of the stars, so they're getting too close to each other. So what if we keep going? How, how insane will this get? Whoa! What's happened there? It's just had its life sucked out of it with this star. What's happened there? Oh, dear. That's very weird. Never seen a star do that before. What is going on? Uh, I mean, we got a bit of a glitch testing episode. Look, they're all just faded out. <laughs> What's happened? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, what? I've never seen that. What's going Oh. Yeah, I think this update's a bit buggy. This is update 28, isn't it? Update 28.0.3. Yeah, there's definitely some issues here. <laughs> Those stars should have gone supernova as soon as they collided. That's very, very weird why it's done that. And yeah, I've never seen stars just black out like that. That's, that is very strange. What's going on over here? I think this star's all yeah in a binary. Okay. So yeah, these are like the pulsars we saw in the previous, uh, previous one. Okay, so it's quite similar to the system we had just been in, actually. So... Yeah, there's Bastor. But yeah, that does it for the Bastor system. So there we are, guys. That does it for this uh, episode of checking out your uh, simulations. So yeah, we had two just star systems today, which is quite um, quite unusual because normally we'd have um, a few planets or um, whatever. But yeah, no, no, nothing at all today, which is quite bizarre. But yeah, I guess it changes things up. A nice bit of change, a bit of fresh air. But yeah, there we are. And also a bit of uh, weird glitches going on, which is very, very strange. I mean, what is it all about with those dark stars? What is that all about? <laughs> Yeah, that is that is very very strange. But um, yeah, that all said and done, a massive thank you to Nick and One One Eight for sending in their simulations. And obviously, guys, if you'd like to send in your own simulations as well, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description where you can upload your simulations in our dedicated upload chat there. And yeah, with that all said and done, make sure you guys all have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.